Good morning. We're back in Middle Earth and we're back at Gundabad. We are going to take another look at missions. Right. So we have quite a few missions available. And live or die. I shall not be a prisoner again. It does look like they rotate. I don't know if it's exactly on a weekly basis. But every day there's been something new. Raging Frost, Servants of the Frost Heart, Siege of the Rift. Ooh, that's a good one. You do Siege Put of the Rift. Put your back to the past and to the wind. Alright. So. Twist, burning shield. Some monsters in the mission will apply a flaming reflect shield to themselves. Oh, that sounds fun. And, of course, Rift is exactly what you think it is. It's the Rift of Nurse Gashu. Here come some monsters to kill. Yay! All right. Orcs in the roof. Well, it was mostly giants and trolls. I'm gonna find out now if you help. Yes, you do. This is a gash for all leader. Raise the banner to proclaim that the watchtower has been secured. Okay. The watchtower is now secured the enemy for a group in their encampment below. So now we have to go down here and fight some more. Of course, that just indicates the end of the instance.
session is actually fun and kind of easy. Well, easy at level 40. I bet this is a lot more challenging at level 140. There's some more mobs somewhere. They are down here, I believe. Now, this one I have to say, I have seen this one before. So. Ruthless Gashore leader has appeared to defend the enemy encampment. And he is going to show up up top. And there he is. He is. I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's supposed to be an orc. Yes, he's an orc. Or a half troll. The enemy camp can now be secured. All right. Completed mission: Siege of Rust. Or Siege of the Rift. Siege of Rust. Oh. Almost forgot. Can loot the body. And this is actually a a world NPC from the Rift. Which I thought was kind of neat. I thank you for coming to our aid. Since the Rangers departed, we have been able to hold in the entrance to the Rift. Recently has become difficult with the Iron Crown renewing their efforts to expand out from Angmar. You have assisted us, and that assistance will not be forgotten. And may your travels be swift and safe, my friend. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. But that one was actually pretty easy and fun. And a throwback to an older area. So, you again say hello for chance. And we I got five no moats and a Gundabad mark from that. So, what is that under currency? Well, moats are under currency. Oh, not under instant and skirmish. But speaking of. That reminds me, Yule Festival is starting in a couple of days. So we'll be able to do that for a couple of days and see. Well, see, you'll see. I've done Yule for years now, and I love Yule. It's one of my favorite ones. So we're up to eight going to Bad Mountain Mark so far. Let's do another one. Can we do Lay to Rest, Raging Frost, Servants of Thrakar, and the Foregone Trap? 
There is much to be done, and little time for talk. All right, so this one, I guess we have to, I think you have to kill Dwarf Whites and destroy the sar their sarcophagi. So what is the twist on this one? The twist is never ending. Monsters in the mission will continue to join the fight until the entry point is destroyed. Okay. So, those sarcophagi we have to destroy will, every hit, spawn a new mob until... they're destroyed. And we have to burn some dead bodies. Destroy the sarcophagi. Heh. <laughs> Took him a second to 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 So I guess actually I only got one mob out of that even though I had to hit the Oh maybe I didn't. Maybe I got two out of it. I think it took me three hits to destroy the sarcophagi. So yeah, I would have gotten two mobs out of it. Okay. Alright, next. It's a very dark sarcophagus. It's a very dark catacomb. I guess technically though, catacombs would be pretty dark. They tend to be underground. Necromancer. I wonder why the Angworm Necromancers are dead. Did they perhaps not realize they couldn't control the whites they were raising? That's probably what happened. Alright. Actually, that took four hits. And I got two wiped out of it. Necromancer. Oh, 
Okay. Now where are we at here? I uh, still need to destroy three sarcophagi and burn three bodies. Okay. This one's actually kind of brightly lit. Look at these impressive sarcophagi. So this is an uncorrupted one. Very impressive. It's a little creepy to see the skulls embedded in the wall there. Another dwarf sarcophagi nearby. There it is. Now what are we up to? We need to find one each. One sarcophagi and one fallen angmarm. Alright, so we've done all the angmarm. I kind of like these whites because you know that the whites are just dead bodies controlled by fell spirits. So the fact that when you kill the body, you then have to also fight the spirit that was controlling the body makes sense. Sarcophagi. Did we end up with just one? Alright. So, we have done everything and we need to go back to the entrance. That's not the entrance. The roundabout. But first, I have to find the entrance.
Ah, that's the entrance. And of course, a dwarf scout has arrived to escort you back to the halls of Matterguard. But first, we must get our mission reward, which one Gundaban Mountain mark. You cheapskates. In games, I allow for chance. I take no such risk in war. Oh, if you're wondering what he, he keeps saying, he says, in games, I allow for chance. I take no such risk in war. Which actually makes a lot of sense, if you think about it. All right, so we have done two missions so far. How much... How many do we need to finish a daily? We need two more to finish a daily. So we're going to take a quick break. And we're going to come back and find two more to do. Okay, we're back. So let's see what we can do next. So far, the first two were pretty easy. There's Raging Frost Servants. Uh, Rockar. In the Foregone Trap. Let's try Servants of Rockar. We have come too far to turn back now. Da, 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 da. There. Oh, I think I know what this one is. It's kind of like going into the foundations of stone. Okay, so this twist here is sacrificial. At low health, monsters in this mission will attempt to end their own life to damage and apply fear effect to those nearby. All right. Yep. Isn't this creepy looking? Can't really see very well on this one. It's a nameless shrine. We have to destroy some of these. Nothing over here. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty creepy looking place. Yeah, these things are are remind me of the nameless in Realize there was another one. This place is mega creepy. Reminiscent of what? I'm trying to think. How do you pronounce his name? Giger? Giger? I'm thinking it's Giger. He would be the guy that does all the really, really bizarre. Monsters. Including, uh.
trying to make sure I don't fall. <laughs> because you can die by falling in these. Anyway, Giger was the one that created the alien from Alien. The Alien series, so yeah. This stuff is pretty bizarre. screenshot of this. Maybe take that. <laughs> Alright. That's enough of that. We're not here to be tourists. And here comes the fall. Of course, a dwarf has arrived to escort me to safety. Which is a good thing, because I don't think I could have figured out how to get back. Uh, no, I could. It would have been easy enough. There are still mobs there. Oh well. I guess we're not killing everything. We did what we needed to do. Alright, so that one was real, really easy. But, like I said... Probably easier at level 40 than at level 140. In games, I allow for chance. I take no such risk in war. So now we have Raging Frost, the Foregone Trap, or... Never underestimate This one, the Captive Wings. We're gonna do this one because this one is takes place in an angmorum setting, and the twist is trap. Some monsters in the mission will attempt to lay down traps. It will give you a debuff if caught. Okay. So. have to destroy some vile draughts. I was going to say vile draughts of what, but we probably don't really want to know. about this part. It's so cute. We get to rescue baby bats. 
breach fledgling black bat. So, we get to free baby bats and save them before they become trained to being evil. Where are we going? We're going this way? Frankie today. He's hissing at everything. baby bats to rescue. <sighs> we have destroyed six of twelve evil draughts. We have defeated four of eight bat keepers and we have rescued four of ten baby bats. how the tr the the twist is that they can lay down traps but I'm just as good at laying down a few traps may not be a burglar or a hunter but I can still lay down a trap There's an awful lot of uh, bookcases in this Ang Marm stronghold. I think if I was the dwarves, I'd be more worried about the amount of knowledge that the Ang Marm have.
acquired over the years. Hi. Excuse me. Go to sleep. Oh, maybe bat. Baby bats. A little bit of lag. There we go. Alright. At least we're having lag after we've killed things. Not while we're in the middle of it. Oh, hi. We need to find one more baby bat to rescue. Rescued all the baby bat. Excuse me. And I think this is all right. So we need to return to the entrance. Excuse me. Where are we going? We're going this way. Yeah, I mean, look at all the bookcases in here. I would really be more worried about what what knowledge the Angmarm have uh, managed to <clears throat> access. All right, so um, back to Gundabad. That was fun. Do you need something? And I believe that has given us enough. Yep, we have done Morning five awaits. for the day. Well, we've done five total, because we did one the last time. And we get a preserved relic. So, that is, it's worth a thousand allegiance points. And it's bound to account, so if you have like a level 130 character that you're working on getting allegiance for, you can actually send that to them. Because, honestly, your level 40 character isn't going to need allegiance just yet. But yeah. Pretty fun stuff. You just come over here. You, you do some of these. You get, uh... Well, I mean, if you're getting XP, which I'm not, you get XP, you get Gundabad marks, you get you get something yeah. that's a little fun. 
and there do seem to be quite a variety of these things, so it's a lot of fun. Even that one's not that great. Okay. I don't need a bounder's cap. Oh! You know what we never did? We did all those, uh... Quest for Oak Barton. We never used the gift mathems. Okay, so let me clean my bag out here real quick. Not destroy those. Get rid of blow the refurs and pile the huge fill. Broken halberds. Mainly, dear, can we not hiss at everybody constantly? Oh, got found a recipe I didn't have already. Gotta send that to my scholar. So, where are the gift methods? So if you alt, right click, use all of them. And that got me at least into friend. So, Matham Society. Yep, I met friend with the Matham Society. So, very good. Yeah, doing art built op art may seem silly, but it's actually a good way to get that reputation. And obviously a very easy way to get that reputation. Since it only takes uh, what, maybe about an hour and a half or so to do that. You'll oh, what did I sell? I sold some rich iron. Okay. It's another five gold. What am I up to anyway? Up to... Uh, 324 gold. Alright. Now. I think we're going to be leaving Gundabad. And head it back out into the world. Like the only place we can go from here is Trestle Bridge. Any place else we would be in a lot of a lot of trouble. <laughs> so yeah, that was our look at Gundabad. Or the missions of Gundabad, because we can't look at Gundabad itself. We would get stomped into Runekeeper Jelly so fast. But now, we're going to... Oh, what am I doing this for? I'm silly. This is why I... I, I left my milestone at the glass blower's camp. Which is... Well... Dwelling. So next time, we are going to continue these intro Evendom quests. And we'll help these fine hobbits try to get their town back. But until next time, bye for now.